Welcome back for another video. I'm Ehabad, a free-to-play and game player in Raid Shadow Legend. Today we're on the challenge account. We are just finished the first 48 hours and the newbie tournament has just finished. So we managed second place. Hats off to, uh, to Nick who finished first. I mean, 6,700 points is really impressive. I'd be interested to know exactly what his strategy was. I did not get anywhere near that, but finished second, happy with 75 gems. Got the energy refill here. Look, I'm going to be leaving for the time being. Uh, we can use that once we gain a few more levels from a refill. At the moment, we'd only get 97 energy. Obviously, as we gain more levels, we will get more energy up to the cap of 130. As we did yesterday, let's jump over to the photos and I can give a little talk from where, where we left the video through to now. So pretty much the last 24 hours of the account. So shortly after I made the video yesterday, I hit silver to an arena, just continuing to grind out those arena wins when I can, get those, get the Magisteel, get the, uh, get the great hall tokens. It's something that's important to keep on top of. Uh, you know, got to grow the Great Hall. There's missions associated with it. And obviously the stat bonus is handy. Thereafter, from a 10 pull on Mystery Shards, we got Avir, who's actually a pretty decent rare. I did use him in my original Dwarf Faction War 21 clear back on my, on my main account a few years back. And I'm going to keep hold of him. Uh, I won't be fooding him at the moment as I'm already trying to kind of plan for future faction war clears. So if I do pick up any champions I think might be useful in terms of clearing faction wars, I'm going to make sure I keep them, even if it sacrifices a small amount of accelerated uh, gain right now. I think it will help me in the long run. I pushed a little bit further on the faction wars, got a uh, sacred order up to stage six and have that on farm. As of last night, when I went to bed, I was using my one slot of my my sparring pit efficiently. Had a level 29 that was going to take seven and a half hours to finish leveling up. And that kind of coincided with me going to sleep. So that seemed like a good use of my time. Then we finished part five of the artifact challenges, got on to part six, and unfortunately I'm actually still stuck on this part six. I have put about 150 energy in trying to get the gloves and it just won't drop. And I still have the chest and boots after. I mean, this is honestly, if anyone from Playroom is watching this, this is the absolute worst part of a new player experience. The fact that the challenges take you back to the sewers between the missions and the challenges we go back there three times we're trying to farm the same nonsense every time and by the time you're on part six on the artifact challenges you're so far beyond normal furthermore the second act is a terrible stage for efficiency and the gear you're trying to get us to farm here is completely worthless like it just it's a terrible game design then basically I completed the lifesteal set on Aethel. I actually gave Aethel a two-star common helm and that with the three pieces of, of starter gear you get given for free, that completed the lifesteal set. And with that I was able to farm normal 12-3. Actually I was able to also farm hard 10-6 as well, which uh, is where I ended up doing most of my farming today. In terms of getting one of the challenges done, we needed to drop defense on stage five of the Force Keep. Here I was using Outrider. I had two of them in to try and improve the RNG. They're both going to ultimately be just food that are going through. And they have a small drop defense on the A1. So that got that done. Then we hit level 30. We unlock the Forge. Unfortunately, my forging was atrocious. <laughs> We got some, not some good, not good pieces. <laughs> we did not get good pieces. Um, we then finished the Arena Challenges Part 2, upgrading another terrible bit of game design here, forcing everyone to upgrade attack bonuses. It's just the worst, uh, 
the worst stat really to be upgrading in your Great Hall. I think it's pretty much the last one you should focus on. We then put in Death Hound, uh, a common with a poison on the A2. And Avir, who also has this low chance poison on the A1. With Aethel in the lifesteal gear, we're able to eke out half a million damage on easy, which with the keys that we had done previously, ended up being that I'd actually done five keys in this uh, clan boss reset period, but we were able to get the top chest. Um, unfortunately, with the four keys, I was just sort of 20k damage short. So we did end up going for the five keys to get the top chest to have a small chance of getting a shard or a book. We, uh, we didn't get anything though. Uh, in another 10 pool, we got an Armager. He's sitting in the vault. We then finished the first page of the missions. Uh, we did another challenge, which was to finish Spider's Den Stage 4 with this combination of champions. Not the best, but sort of just muddling through, mostly relying on Aethel AoE to clear out the spiders. And then just the basically the, the, the strongest champions I have on the account. Outlander will be one of the five-star food for my first six star. So we'll war priest. So we've got two four star forties already. We then finished the dungeon challenges, got another ancient there. We picked up Valerie from the campaign. Uh, we were then having to farm arcane pots for the missions. We needed to get 25 of the smaller ones. And basically, I was just found the highest stage that Aethel could solo, and then I was just farming food whilst we completed those 25 potions. You waste a lot of energy doing all these missions, to be honest, but you might as well do it now because you're going to have to do it eventually anyway. As I was doing the magic keep, I actually dropped down to stage 7 um, to try and get more of the smaller potions because I ended up getting a few too many of the bigger ones, and I didn't want to waste too much time. So I did drop down and uh, we actually got an Ancient Shard. Pushed a little bit further on Faction Wars. We had all of our food that we're building up to get our first six star. Quite a lot of them are Barbarians because I've been farming uh, Dead Mind State uh, Act 10. So we have a lot of Barbarians coming through and that was able to give me seven stars in the Barbarian Crypt. So we got three star on stage one and two and then we were just farming stage three. So we picked up a few more glyphs and a few little bits of forge material that way. We then did our first key of uh, post reset um, and we got 700k. It was on spirit affinity, which probably helped a little bit as we have three magic affinity champions there. We will therefore get top chest with two keys. And once we get our first six star or get a decent poison, it will be in a much better position to, to not have to rely on, on doing this and be able to start moving at least into like normal, uh, normal clan boss quite soon. So the only champion I've built remotely well so far is Aethel. Not amazing speed, but okay speed, decent amount of attack, nearly 100% crit rate. You only really need 85% because of the A2. But this is just <laughs> how my, my gear uh, worked out. I am using the perception set, so we do get 40 accuracy there. In terms of masteries, I haven't bought them yet. I'm going to wait. I decided I'd wait until we did the ancient pulls to see if we ended up getting something that basically would encourage me to leapfrog them and prioritize them over Aethel. I probably will still six star Aethel, mostly because I have actually invested the books into the abilities already. So it probably will go down that that route, but I was delaying it anyway until we we can make an informed decision. Um I did rank up the crit rate gloves that we were given today, got to two HP percent. On the chest we got triple HP percent. The boots, we did get another HP percent, but at least we got double crit there. But it's like for me, the star gear has rolled pretty badly. I know quite a few other people have been getting good speed rolls or, or attack percent. I've just got the healthiest Aethel there is. I then picked up this weapon when I was doing a mission that required me to farm a little bit of dragon. I think we had to do 10, 10 runs. 
um, and this was the best piece I got. It allowed me to get rid of my two star common, which I might still have. No, I don't. I've sold it, sadly, or destroyed it. I can't even remember anymore. These were the two better perception pieces from the forge that I was able to put on. But if we look elsewhere, the speed pieces I got, this was from the uh, newbie tournament. I mean, the novice tournament, like they were all pretty bad. The gloves probably the best of the, the lot, but flat defense on the boots, nothing interesting in terms of subs on the shield. And even on the weapon, we rolled double resistance instead of accuracy. But I will keep this because there are some niche uses within the game where we do actually need to build res. And I think on a certain faction war champions in the future, this will actually be a good weapon. So I'll, I'll be hanging on to this. And this one also defense percent as a main with HP percent as a sub. There are instances where this might be useful. I can think particularly clan boss, it might end up being useful in a four piece lifesteal, two piece speed. This could be a pair of gloves I end up using at least in the short run. Otherwise, if we look through the perception that I crafted, we have a terrible weapon. The best piece that I crafted at all had accuracy and speed. We managed to hit double flat defense, which is pretty disappointing. That's poor. This one, resin speed. This one that's usable again. Then we got rubbish, rubbish, flat attack. Res with ack, but only four star probably won't get used and then another res one at four star as well so we we've not been lucky at all and you can see i'm showing equipped so that that is all we got similar on the resilience uh not good stuff this one could be okay if we hit speed but it's only four star again we've thrown that on one of our champions today this one hmm, i mean could be okay if we hit speed as a third then we got defense percent Flat defense, an ack chest, which could be useful. It's five star at least. This one could have some niche use. Then HP, flat attack, and the one decent pair of boots we got, five star speed. But of course, we rolled double flat attack already as well. Our RNG has been <laughs> truly atrocious, but I think we're we're progressing reasonably well. I have found that, for me at least, Arena has started to slow down. I'm generally finding the team powers are pretty high. There's usually a couple of fights on a page that I can do. But basically, I really need to kick on and actually build some slightly stronger champions. The only champion that's built remotely well at the moment is Aethel, and I don't really have a great supporting cast. Uh, they're okay for PvE, they're okay for helping me progress, but they're, they're struggling when it comes to Arena. So it's definitely something that I'm going to need to get on with. As, as we always say, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So all that's really left, let's make sure we've actually got enough space. And we do, we've got 12 Ancients, um, 38 out of 50 space. So we did manage to get a decent number of Ancients, a couple from the market. As you saw, we got one from when we were farming uh, the potions. And we I can't even remember where else there were. There were quite a few in the in the events that we've done. So I think we might try uh, by the end of this to, to get a little bit further, maybe get the rare tome and the ancient shard. But from the champion training, max that out, got the ancient shard from there. And Dungeon Divers maxed that out and got the Ancient Shard. So we've been picking up a decent amount of shards. Sadly, there's no uh, no champion chase going on. But we do need to try and get some better champions if we want to build ourselves a proper clan boss team. So fingers crossed. We just want a decent epic, really. I mean, we got Frozen Banshee. That's actually pretty good but and we got a war maiden who we've been trying to farm the entire time but that is that is a disappointing set talia is not the epic we we're hoping for we've got two more shards so far this account is pretty cursed is this going to be decent no no it isn't <laughs> like what can you say 
Another epic. And that's actually a big pull. Yeah, Misgrated's a big pull. Um, we do have the ally protection, which is really handy. Not really a traditional clan boss champion, and I don't think we'll be able to get him to work on Ultra Nightmare. But at least for progression over the, you know, to, to push down towards sort of getting a Nightmare team, Miscreated will work well. Pretty good in Arena. Really nice to have the stun on an AoE basis. Like, really, really good progression champion, Miscreated Monster. And I pulled him way too late on my original count, and I never got any value from him. And he's really, really strong against Spider because you get these massive shields. So I think this could be a really interesting progression champion for us, a real old-school champion that doesn't get used very much, and pretty strong for Faction Wars as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Like, he's not OP anymore. He was a bit of a, an OP champion when he first came out, but nowadays there's been so much... There's been so much power creep that he's just not that strong anymore. But pretty happy overall. Not the worst set of uh, of shards ever. Also, not the best. Other people have pulled S-tier legendaries. We have not. But we do have some champions that we're definitely going to be focusing on. War Maiden for drop defense. Frozen Banshee, we've now got a Poisoner. Really strong Poisoner in Frozen Banshee. That's, that's actually a really... Good pull for us. She is Ultra Nightmare viable. That does help. I mean, to be really efficient with Frozen Banshee, if you want to do Ultra Nightmare with her, you kind of need either a two-for-one comp, ally attack, or counter attack. She's not going to get enough poisons out by herself. But it's also going to help us a lot in terms of progression in Dragon and Ice Golem as well. Right then, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.